Welcome, welcome everyone to another episode of Time for BL. This is the podcast where we review movies, TV shows, novels, and comics, all in the boys love genre. Welcome, welcome. Wait, we already did that part. (laughs) So it is time for episode nine of I Long Nigh. I've been excited because the mother has been introduced. We can see that there's some manipulation there. It looks like she connected with I because she needed a life-saving surgery for her daughter who she had um, from a different relationship. And um, she's manipulating her daughter to get to I and the daughter is using the manipulative tactics she learned from her mother also to get to I. There was also some confusion where Nai, for some reason, thought I was dating a little girl. Again, that clearly was a child. Why was the first thing you came that came to your mind was you were she was cheating on you? Like what? Like he really, this boy don't think clearly. Um, and no one has questions. He just trashed the plate. Well, the first one was an accident, but be trashing things without talking it over. We gotta work on that, Nye. But yeah, they're back together. Everything is good, and Nye is a pillow princess. Let's get on with episode nine of I Long Nye. Like right off the bat, I gotta pause. So, um, I was worried about one of the things I saw in the trailer, which was him shouting at his parents that he was stolen from his mom. Now I know that actually happened five years pre- previous to what's going on. So prior. <laughs> so um, it was a situation that they had solved and he's back in a good relationship with his parents. And we see that he doesn't really want a relationship with his mom. So he's already met her. He already doesn't really like her. And he's chosen to continue with his two dads as the parents in his life. Um, he shouts at them for, um, you know, Sib leaving his mom for John Ann. The problem I have is arms acting. I, mm, I've said before that I was worried about arms acting from the beginning. And the, the, the main issue, why, why it's kind of an issue here is you can see Porsche and you see the change in his face when, um, mean delivers his line. And you know, he, he does the little things that needs to be done to like show like this character is thinking something arm isn't doing the little facial things and even in his dialogue he's just like i are it <laughs> to like shut him up and there isn't much facial change or body change and it could be that he he's still like getting comfortable or with the character or something but it just ah, man I, I really wanted more from arm I, i'm I, I'm gonna keep watching the scene because maybe it will change and we will see that improvement. Um, but in that moment, like what we were getting from Porsche with the facial changes and the what did you say? All that stuff, we weren't getting that from Arm. And I noticed that. Okay, I am so glad that I just kept watching because when he was sitting down, the character just didn't feel right. But then the second like um jaunan gets up in the scene i finally start seeing what i want to see from arm this is what i wanted this is the passion i wanted and it's it's giving when he finally gets up and he does his you know i raised you your whole life do i really seem like such a bad person oh this is what i want this is what i want and she just looked like a cunning little b word oh my god she just oh just the way she's standing there looking like yeah that's right i got you oh my god i i've never wanted to slap somebody hard no no she yeah i've never wanted to slap somebody as bad as i want to slap her in this moment at least like oh god that actress is doing a great job playing someone who needs to be hated because i hate her Ooh, I hate her. I hate her more than I hated, um, um, what's his name? Really hot dude in, uh, uh, what was the name? Family reunion? What was it? 
where um, the two daughters and one was getting married to a rich man and one was dating the bus driver. <laughs> Look, and when he got hit with that skillet, whoo, I was so happy. I hated him. Ooh, and, and the guy from Diary of a Mad Black Woman, I hated him too. Ooh, so many people to hate. Medea. Uh, well, Tyler Perry. I don't really watch your movies like that. But you know how to create some characters that I just want to slap. And whoever wrote I Long Nye and cast that actress, you did a great job. Whoever did the casting as well. Because I just want to slap her. I want to hurt her. Oh, I cannot stand this woman. And she hasn't even been in that many episodes. This is the second time we're seeing her. I want to hurt her. She just came on the scene like, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is B. <laughs> Who the hell did the damn subtitles? <laughs> we ask that every week. Why is ignominious in there? Like, I had to pause and go find the def- definition. This is not the spelling bee. <laughs> Why? Like, I had to go look it up. So, <laughs> for anyone who was um, unclear and didn't look it up, ignominious, which I think I'm pronouncing correctly. Ignominious. Ignominious. <laughs> Ignominious. So, I now know the correct pronunciation. Ignominious. Um, it means deserving or causing public disgrace or shame. Um, so he's saying don't go out there and, um, basically cause disgrace on yourself or this family and then try and come back. So don't go cause shame and then return home. (sighs) There's so many other ways this could have been said. Did they just look up in the dictionary? Like, okay, what is the translation? Ignominious. (laughs) That is an SAT word, and I did not do the SATs um, because I'm not from here. So, wow. Okay, ignominious. So he's saying, don't go out there and be disgraceful or shameful, whatever it is, and return here. (sighs) Now I know. (laughs) Now I know. I'm just trying to imagine my parents, like, kicking me out of the home and, like, don't be ignominious and return here. (laughs) Because I would have stopped and be like, wait, don't be what? What? What is that word? <laughs> Where's my dictionary? <laughs> oh, God. It still kind of wasn't all I wanted from Arm, though, I will say. Because he kind of just stood in the one spot. At least Porsche, we see him move closer to me and move away from me and turn around. We see his body having movement. And also the same thing with me. Me stepping forward to get into Arm's face and backing up and turning around. Like, they were both moving. Arm just stood there and then looked to the side and then looked forward. Then looked to the side and then looked forward. I, I, I still want to see more from him. What is that hair on her chin? Is it actually her hair or did like no one say anything during filming? Because if it is her hair, I'm sorry for pointing it out. I shouldn't have. That is my bad. If it's something that just was not um, pointed out at all during filming, y'all couldn't retake everything? (laughs) Y'all, somebody couldn't stop? No one noticed it? She didn't even finesse him the first day. So they're in the car. He's, of course, riding with his mom. And they're talking and she's asking if he's hungry. Doing a whole like, I'm here for you, I care about you, um, even convinces him to try just calling her mom instead of calling her, you know, formally. Um, Probably just Kun or something. And um, (laughs) right after that says, okay, seeing as you're not hungry, let's go to the hospital. You know, I have a daughter. Her name is Jom. She has leukemia. In other words, she only went searching for him for, um, was it stem cells? <sighs> Damn. Like, just to see if he's a match to his sister. To save her life. It was never about him. It was never about him. If Joan never had leukemia, she would have never went searching for him. Oh my god. Bone marrow. I was gonna say bone marrow, but I I I thought maybe I was wrong. But bone marrow 
is what they needed. I was like thinking, is it bone marrow? Is it stem cell? What is it that, is that the same thing? I'm not a scientist. I failed science. <laughs> Ooh, that is her husband. I wonder how he feels about her like mentioning that she has a son from a previous relationship that he probably never knew about until this moment. Oh, he just walks out of the room. I had a feeling, I had a feeling. And they couldn't get a different actress to play um, Joan from five years before. Or did they just not want to? Why not? And I guess they didn't want to get a a, um, skull cap or anything. I mean, it's a lot of makeup and prosthetics to make someone uh, look like they're losing their hair. So just covering her head. I mean, and then again, not everyone loses their hair, right? Or just, hmm, I don't know. So I'll shut up. One of the things I'm hating about the show is the outer monologues because like that outer monologue, I was like, it should have been heard. But anyway, he talked to his sister. He's leaving. He doesn't find his phone. So he's looking around for his mom and gets to the stairway and overhears her talking to her husband where she makes it clear that she's doing a lot of this just because she wants to get back at her ex. (laughs) And that's why she's jumping into Eyes Live. She wants to get back at her ex, but she also wants to save her daughter. She doesn't actually care about that brat. Her words. Um, and of course I hears all of this and he is crying. Like, I'm just imagining his whole life wishing he had, um, gotten a chance to meet his mom, thinking his mom is dead, wishing he got to know her and having this wonderful image, most likely of his mom that, um, Jonan and, um, Sib fed him, um, giving him like the ideal mom, most likely. And then he's finding out, oh no, she's a horrible person. Man, that's hard. And of course, learning why Jonan and Sib wanted to keep him as far away from this woman as possible. Um, man, I hate, I hated her face when I saw her in the opening credits. I went, now that looks like an evil woman. This actress was born for this role. <laughs> is she a soap opera actress? Like... That is some soap opera acting. Don't get me wrong. I'm loving it. I love soap opera acting. I love watching the soap opera craziness. It is, it is, oh, have y'all seen Young and the Restless? 90s Young and the Restless. I don't know what it's like today, but 90s Young and the Restless? Oh, 90s Bold and the Beautiful to early 2000s with Brooke? (laughs) Yo, oh my God. (laughs) I love soap opera acting. Passions? (laughs) I don't think Passions is on the air anymore. I don't know. Anyway. Um, but, oh my gosh. That, the the throw on the wall, <laughs> everything. And the way he's like grabbing her is like a bad girl like you deserves a bad guy like me. Yo, oh my gosh. I'm loving these villains. I'm like, are they, the villains are giving. <laughs> I'm enjoying the villains. Oh God, this whole scene in the, the hallway. It's not supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be dramatic. But he like runs on and he starts choking her. And the look on her face while she's getting choked just made me laugh. Because again, so proper acting. But it's when um the husband like grabs eye and punches him. Like it's so obvious there's no force in the punch because they're acting. And you know, it's a stage punch. <laughs> But the way he did, hold on, I gotta, yes, yes, back to that point. He's crying, he runs down the stairs, he grabs his mother. (laughs) Oh God, yeah, when he grabs her, turns around, and just starts choking her. (laughs) And this shouldn't be funny, but the look on her face, uh, uh. (laughs) And then the stage punch that there was no connection, you know, they were just using angles to make them look closer and blah, blah, blah. But oh gosh, that whole thing. Oh, that was wonderful. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. I feel so sorry for Jom. And also, if you hear any noises in the background, I now have the baby. Um, I feel so sorry for Jom. Because she's stuck with these two bad parents. Who she trusts. Because that's what kids do. They trust their parents. They have no reason to not trust their parents, their kids. And then I feel so sorry for I. Because now he has to help his sister they are a match um and she's his sister and like it just sucks all around i do like where he tells her to choose between pain and death that's like a great i'm so scared it's gonna hurt okay choose between pain and death 
I actually had a doctor do that to me one time. He's like, okay, either you get the injection here or you go to the hospital and get the injection. I was like, I'll get the injection here. He goes, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, it does work sometimes for some people. And um, she, of course, wants a relationship with her big brother. She doesn't know what just happened. Yeah. She's an innocent child and all this. I really feel for Joan. I really just feel for her. So I was wondering how everything went so quickly because like he's in his school uniform, but they actually use the mom's clothing to show that time has passed. Cause I was like, there's no way in that one night they find out he's a match and he can go in and he can get it done right away. No way, no way. <laughs> But yeah, some time definitely has passed and um, he is done with her. She's done with him. They're, they're, they're done with each other. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I was wondering what they were going to do about the tattoos. Nothing. They were going to do nothing about the tattoos. He's a high school student with a bunch of tattoos. They do exist. I know a few. But I was really wondering if they were going to like at least cover up the tattoos to show... Um, Oh, wait, no. Is he a... Mm, is he walk... He just... Did he do all this without his parents' consent? As in his dad? Like, was Sib not a part of this at all? Did he even tell them that's what he did? Dude. So his dads don't even know about this? Oh, God, he's a high school student walking around on... it. She was able to do all of this without Sib's permission? what oh my gosh now the music is so loud i don't know if siv actually is on the other line like like they're giving us dialogue and saying he's talking to his dad and telling us what the dad is saying but i don't i can't hear anything can y'all hear something like is it is it that the music is too loud or is there no one on the other end did they forget to do the voice over for the phone call because i i can't hear anyone on the other end but he's talking to somebody is that is so loving oh my god his parents love him not the mom i'm when i say parents i'm talking about sib and jonah jonah and i ain't talking about that woman that evil witch no no, I don't want to call her a witch because there's some great witches out there. We got Glenda. Um, we got Elphaba before she turned. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. And she was justified. I'm not going to give her that sacred title. That B word. Um, before her existence. Um, oh, God. But that same day. His dad went straight to Bangkok. His dad was waiting for him. He is the prodigal son. He is the only child. But oh gosh, his daddy loves him. And his daddy is a good man because, again, my child is in the room. I apologize. But when um, when that wicked woman took his son, not only did he go to Bangkok, he gave her money to take care of his son. And his son is wandering the streets. You couldn't even just call his daddy to come pick him up. You couldn't let him parents up. All right, look, um, my daughter needed a bone marrow transplant. He did it. He was a match. Um, Y'all can come get him now. You couldn't even do that for him? You wicked woman. And now I'm thinking the reason why the mom is keep sending Joan to him is because maybe Joan needs another treatment. Is that a possibility? So she needs to get back in his good graces so he'll give to Joan again? Oh, and Jum don't know the truth. Who that poor little girl. That poor little girl. Oh, God, and he learned that Jonah came as well. Jonah ain't messing around about his baby. <laughs> Leave their baby alone. That is their baby. Oh, my God. Oh, I love these two. They're such great dads. <laughs> Hate that wicked woman. Oh, and like clinging on to him. Oh, and Jonah is mad, but he ain't messing. Don't mess with his baby. Oh. Okay, they keep saying our people. When Arm is talking, um, they've multiple times, multiple times, had um, Jonah and saying in in the thing say our people, and I feel like it's supposed to be our family. Like he's saying, why can't they leave our family alone? Why are they doing this to our family? And oh, I'm so upset that it did that to his baby, put him in a position where he had to give bone marrow. 
I'd be mad too. It's your bone marrow. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you want to, cool. But then just left him in. Oh, my blood is boiling. She's not real. She's not real. I don't need to find a hoodoo woman to make a jar. (laughs) I don't need to. I want to, but I don't need to. And don't don't make jars unless you're trained in it. That's why I said find a hoodoo woman because I would never i would get caught in the jar the person in the background looking on to see what's going on like i know they're looking because oh they're filming something over there let me look (laughs) but it fits to like somebody looking like yo what are those three men doing over there and yes please get his butt back to the hospital oh god i would oh i'd be so livid the things i would do to that woman i'm thinking now that i likes them crazy hear me out Think about it. He and his dad got the same type in men. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> and uh, Siv said that Jonan destroyed the diplomat's house when he couldn't find his baby, his son. Hear me out. What did <laughs> Nye do when he thought I was cheating on him? Uh, he like he, he got a type, for real. He do got a type. Okay, I'm confused. How did um my man Nye not pick it up? Like, he got two dads. His two dads. He said they're siblings. I did not know that they were steps. Grandmother and grandfather got married. So they steps. Well, no. Because his grandmother... Wait, whose parents married who? Huh. So they're step-siblings. It's not blood-related. But ew... But did they grow up together? I had to rewind because I need to get the um, family tree right. Okay, so Sib's mom and Nan's dad got married. (laughs) Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. It all started when my mom met his dad. And that's how I met my husband. (laughs) How I met your father. (laughs) Our parents got married. And as I looked across the hall (laughs) of our bedrooms. (laughs) These stepbrothers. They kept it in the family. (laughs) We're brothers. (laughs) I can't get my mind out. They're brothers. Listen, the way I would need to unpack all that in therapy, like they were amazing dads and they it's great because they grew up together. <laughs> it's like, oh, they were best friends. Oh no, they're stepbrothers. <laughs> they grew up across the hall from each other. <laughs> oh God. But wait, earlier he talked about how he knew Nan was the one I am so confused at least it's step and not blood (laughs) who met first (laughs) the siblings are the parents I'm sorry (laughs) but I was just thinking about that like who actually met who first what if the kids had introduced the parents to each other like, without saying, oh, yeah, this is someone I'm interested in, too. And then they got married. Or did they meet because their parents got married? Ooh. Ooh. Carlisle! <laughs> oh, God, please don't guitar. No guitar. <laughs> don't pick up the guitar. We don't need the guitar. No, it's worse. It's the fiddle. <laughs> we heard him playing it in the first episode, and there was no playing please say he can't play and they're just gonna skip over this what if they do music over it <laughs> hold up was it what was the name of the the the, the 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 show and then like the guy was playing um he was playing the violin but it was so obvious that music was playing over was it uh Taku- takumi-kun Where it was all at the high school and everybody was wearing those bright blue jackets. The Japanese um, show. Uh, Was it that one? It was like so obvious. It was just like recordings play over. (laughs) 
they didn't even try to hide it. <laughs> like, I will play the violin for you. And he's just moving the... <laughs> no finger movements, no nothing. I believe that was it. What did I say? What did I say? It's a recording. I am dying. It's a recording. In my head, I was like, please be good, please be good, please be good. He didn't, didn't even play the full recording. That's all they could afford. <laughs> now I actually want to go look up somebody playing the Thai fiddle so I can actually, like, see someone playing it. Oh, God. Does, like, me not play any instruments so they had, like, nothing to give him? Like, the guitar, he just kind of picked at it. He didn't play anything. The fiddle, the first time, was just... Jir, 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 jir. And this time, music played over. He knows how to play every piece there. No, he don't. That is not how you teach someone to play the piano. And I know this as someone who sort of can play the piano. I'm not great. I didn't stick around for all my classes. But I got enough classes that I know what I'm doing. Um, I know I know where the keys are. That ain't how you teach someone to play the piano. A piano is being played but not by them also that's a keyboard wait is that a piano or a keyboard yep that's a keyboard i think that's a keyboard there are pianos that no no it would have been longer so yeah that's a keyboard oh so that's a keyboard <laughs> and um that is not them playing and uh, if anyone ever sat behind me like and like let me teach you how to anything move <laughs> that is not how you teach <laughs> it ain't even romantic no more ghost wore it out <laughs> with the clay so jom has shown up at the apartment randomly and um my boy nai is trying to be nice because you know it's i's little sister but i of course is just very standoffish and is like telling her to leave don't let her in don't open the door don't let her in don't nothing he doesn't even want to talk to her nai doesn't know the full situation so i don't blame him for wanting to bring um jom in especially since he's opening the door he's seen this little girl and um this cute little girl so he's like oh let's help her um but <sighs> this definitely is a time where they really need to have that conversation about the boundaries he has set for his mother and her family and um yeah i i mean I, he doesn't have to tell him the full thing but he can just let him know look i don't want anything to do with any of them i'm not ready to talk about it but don't let her in again if i say don't open the door to her don't open the door to her i'm done with them um and i don't blame him especially since i think i know why she's there i think i know why the mom is sending her it's not to get to know <laughs> it's not to get to know i they're not really there for i or let him know straight up <laughs> Let him know straight up. He, he he let him know straight up. Look, we we have issues with them. I already promised my dad I'm not talking to them. End of discussion. All right, yeah. The boy went from I'm not gonna be able to do anything else after last night to do you want some do you want to try some more difficult postures? Is this yoga, <laughs> sir? <laughs> you showing off your athletic body? But, um, yeah, he is understanding. He's like, yeah, I don't, I don't want the drama. So I'm just going to go ahead and let her know you don't feel comfortable talking and she's going to need to go home. <laughs> yes. Be there for him. <laughs> and then offering him something else. <laughs> Woo. What postures though? I, I don't think your head, I don't think you move. <laughs> what? You want to turn to your side? That woman really showed up? Oh my gosh. She really showed up. Imagine the audacity. Like he goes down, the Wicked Witch is there, and she's like, sit. You know, I thought you were Joan Ann when I saw you, then I looked closely and realized it's not him. You look a lot alike. It's like, yes, I told me that as well. Could you deliver these dumplings to my son? I am his mother. <laughs> Yeah, sure, I'll do that for you. What is your relationship with him? Why are you staying in the same room? And he's like, all right, yeah, can I leave? It's kind of exam period, so I need to go study. I command you to break up with my son. Like, woman, your son? Your son. By blood and blood alone. Move on, woman. He don't want you. His daddy don't want you. 
his stepdaddy slash uncle don't want you in their lives move on leave we don't want you here please and then this is what i hate with this so on on um itchy they're not going to show what's what to expect in the next episode um so i would have to go look it up but i've not been looking them up because i want to just come in as blind as i would if i was only watching on this and wasn't able to look the stuff up on twitter or youtube or wherever else <sighs> why do you do this to me like ending it like that because i would have loved it to end with a ha ah, no and then walk away <laughs> that's what i wanted it to end with but oh my gosh, Ailang Nai, so the mom has finally appeared so fully, so the drama is ramping up. I, I cannot wait for next week. I'm glad to know because I, I saw that whole shouting thing in the trailer and I was worried that the mom was going to interfere and then he's going to go shouting at his dad. It's like, you stole me from my mom. But he already knew she existed. That whole shouting match already happened. And they're in a better place. And he knows who his mom is. He is done with her. He is done with everything that she has to offer him. Which is nothing except a sister. That's all she got. A sister for him. That's it. Who look like she going to be a mini her. Um... <laughs> Can't wait for next week. I want to see more of Ilong Nai. We didn't get anything of any of the other guys like Chun and To and, and Tun and Nine and Sing and FM and in and all the guys. Dang it. <laughs> I'm like trying to remember names. Um, we didn't get any of their other stories um, because this was mostly a focus, um, a focused flashback on why I does not want anything to do with his birth mom. And yay, thank you for that. It has been explained. I now understand why he hates her. I hate her too. We all hate her. Say it with me. We hate her. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Time for BL. Hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, and good night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Bye!